Hi friends, Kawa here. Uh, so, uh, this video is going to show my new team that I'm testing out. Um, it's going to be a armor ball team uh, with uh, ground orders for movement. Uh, this team was something that I wanted to do for a while, but I could never properly set it up. Uh, well, it took a lot of time because we still needed the armor staff unit, which was Winter Erica. Uh, we got her recently. So we're able to more or less set up the prototype for the map, uh, but we are still missing some resources to uh, more or less finalize it. Uh, so I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, we're going to go over to the second match first because the first match was really uh, just me testing that concept out. And it happened while I was still um, rearranging the team. So that minus 80 there uh, was a result of me still working on the team and we got attacked so we're gonna skip to this one first we're gonna go back to the minus 80 but i just wanted to show you what the team looked like first so you can get a understanding of what i'm trying to do so the team is in, like i said is an armor ball team where they all huddle up together and then with their ward armors they buff each other um to the point where they are really really uh tanky they don't look it like on paper but when you enter combat with them, their stats are ridiculously high. And uh, this team has two grand uh, back scratchers, which sets them up so that they have instant specials. Well, not instant. It's going to be on their second hit because they have a bold fighter. Uh, though you will notice that I don't have a refine on this cleaner and I don't have a refine on the back scratcher. Uh, and I want to show you here that uh, my Hector here has a uh, not a great seal right now. Uh, mainly because they're all supposed to share the same attack stat, so that the Grand Backscratcher will give them the cooldown reduction. And then the idea is that the two healers' attack stats are not high enough, so that uh, a chill attack will cause them instead to get the Backscratcher ability. So they are actually, they're absolutely not high enough to take um, the Backscratcher ability off it with chill attack. Um, but I, uh, these will be fixed because, uh, Kagero here is using Fury 1. Uh, this is gonna be fixed once I get the resources. Uh, Hector just needs flowers. He needs two flowers to hit 57 attack. Uh, Kagero just needs a refine on the cleaner so that the cleaner will be, uh, plus attack refine. Then I can drop her Fury and we can equip her with Death Blow. Uh, Flora already was a 57. And Solthus, uh... She was a little tricky for this season because she is a bonus unit, so I had to give her a Fortress Res so that I can uh, cut her stat, uh, attack stat by 3, just enough to put her to 57. Uh, we will resolve that issue when the bonus season ends. We'll be able to get Soltis on the norm to uh, 27, uh, 27, 57 attack. Alright. So that's more or less what the team looks like. Uh, I have a Sky Myogi on Flora to answer any end turn armors. Uh, Kagero here is holding the cleaner so there's no really buffed up tanking come, uh, that can survive here. And these two, Soltis and Hector, are really just really uh, beefy frontline tanks. Like, it, it's really hard to like double Soltis. Um, Soltis' stats are really up there even without um, her bonus stats. Her speed is close to 50 it will be it'll be really close to 50 when um i can drop the fortress res because i'll probably give her steady stance or something like that so that she'll have more speed and uh it, it just will be near impossible to double her outside of using a, a skill that lets you double her uh floor here is more or less what the pinnacle of what it would look like because you have death below uh well the range attackers at least she has Death Blow, Bold Fighter, the Ward Armor, and then she has this uh, Attack Res Bond, so she increases her uh, Glacies. And then with all the invisible stats from Ward, her Glacies is very, very deadly. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what the healer looks like. There's nothing really special here. The most important one is the Sakura here, who's holding the Ground Orders. She's targeting both uh, Kagero and Flora, so these two can teleport. And uh, the other one is Erica. She's not like she wasn't absolutely mandatory for the team. It's just that I preferred to have the fifth armor unit uh, instead of having just some random other unit holding the back scratcher. But the idea is that 
You don't want her to move. You want her because she's limited by one movement thanks to being an armor unit. She's stuck where she is and uh, she just stands there and restores. And if you take too long to approach my map, she'll probably have Miracle up by the time you get to her. And then you're going to have to deal with the other armors and her uh, having Miracle. So there is a chance that you get stalled out. And Hector here, uh, he's just ridiculously beefy. If you attack him, uh, he his Ostean, um, what's it called? Uh, Ostean counter gets triggered. And then uh, if it's res, you know, he gets seven res here. He has Ostean counter. He has the ward armors. It's ridiculous. And then um, he hits with Bonfire instead of Ignis. I know that Ignis is the four uh, cooldown one, but... I want it so that because he's more of the defense unit, because he's a frontliner, uh, like Sothis, I think it was better to give him the three charge because then after the back scratcher, he goes to one charge. If you hit him on his retaliation, he will bonfire you. And if um, it's him attacking you, he has uh, bold fighters, so he's going to bonfire you anyways on the second hit. It would have been more interesting with Ignis, but on the sense of defense, I felt like that was the right choice. Alright, so I'm just going to turn on the animations, and we're going to review my enemy here. Uh, nothing really special here, it's uh, Aversa. Uh, Aversa is bound to be here, I, because um, Peony is the bonus unit this season, so you know, you get away with a lot. Um, this is just base kit Peony, she doesn't even have her uh, Fort Res 3, and she doesn't have a Sacred Seal. And this is their tank, Noe. Um, it's 2020 now. I thought people would be done trying to tank with Noe. Uh, air, you know air. Nothing special here. And here's a Mer. This is a plus 10 Mer. Um, uh, nothing really much to say about her. Like, she looks like she's trying to tank too. Um, yeah. So, the other thing is that I was thinking about giving uh, Kagero or Flora originally... The Cloud Myogi, the uh, anti dragon one, but I was thinking, uh, probably don't need it. I don't think that many people end turn dragon to me. So, uh, but uh, apparently I'm wrong. But alright, let's start this up. So uh, I fixed that uh, section there. Uh, because the I uh, won the next match after these, uh, because the healing tower was really exposed, so I actually uh, tweaked it a little bit after this. So as you see, uh, Erica does a restore, and now Kagero comes out to attack, and <laughs> Noe just explodes. Like that was a sixty-one, and it's a Luna. It wasn't even like a Galaxy or anything. It was just a Luna. It's because she had stats buffs. And here comes Flora. And that's a 76 on a Glacies. So, more or less, after you know you get two kills, you would think that your opponent is done trying to tackle your team. Uh, my opponent stays. So, this is the armors um, swapping and stuff, getting back into position. I didn't quite understand what was happening here. Um, why a uh, Versa was attacking Flora? I guess he needed the damage. He needed that fourteen. Like I, I didn't quite understand that one. That was that one was like a little bit weird to me. Like, why did you attack my Flora again? Like, you know, you see, uh, I'm just going to heal up. And then he put Murr in front of Flora. It's like, what are you thinking? You're thinking that, you know, you know red beats green. And Flora is not a pushover. Because if you don't kill her, she is going to double you. And she's going to glaces you again. So I wasn't quite sure what they were thinking here. Uh, and then, you know, Hector just moves forward, swaps a Flora. So he takes the front line position again. And my point gives up. Um, I'm not sure what they were thinking about tanking like that. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys the first original idea of the team. Um, this fight actually could have been won if not for Marth being a bonus unit. 
So here you see that uh, I clearly was not done preparing because Kagero is still holding the uh, bottle of juice and uh, our attack was 56 this time instead of um, 57 because after we revised it we realized that we could hit 57 so we did some shuffling around of units and we settled on 57 attack. Oh, actually let me just show you this Marth and his ridiculous stats. Uh, you see that there's a Kaden and a Peony, so this stat's even more ridiculous. Uh, but he actually was supposed to die if not for bonus stats. So, there's that. And he also has the guard um, skill uh, on Elliewood, like, you know, the rally guard, uh, what's it called? The Ruse? It was a Ruse, right? Yeah, he had defense res Ruse. And that really was like the downfall of this setup because... I couldn't kill Marth, and then we couldn't get our instant um, specials out. And here you go. Ike was really like uh, Ike's position was where Sothis is going to be. I wanted a quick armor unit there so that it wasn't that easy to double them. But even if uh, it was Sothis versus this Marth, there was no way Sothis was going to beat that thing at that ridiculous speed. And because Erica does not have a kill, she restores instead of attacks. And then Kagero here doesn't get to do her... Uh, well, she dies instantly anyways. But if she can't, because of the guard skill, she couldn't um, do anything special. Like, she couldn't do her special. Who's a problem? Jacob here, who gets off his glaciers, he's the one who actually puts him to 11 life. So, the 11 on life reflects that 10 bonus HP and then the 4 defense he gained from being a bonus unit. If it wasn't for those stats, he would have died. This Morph would have died. Or if, you know, uh, uh, Jacob was a little stronger, he would have been able to maybe do something. And then poor Erica here um, doesn't have Raffle Staff, so she couldn't hurt him. Actually, I just noticed this Caden retaliated. This Caden has distant defense, and he's merged. I mean, distant counter. It's like, ugh. But yeah, if she had Raffle, she probably still wouldn't have killed him. She would need Raffle Bold Fighter. If she had Raffle Bold Fighter, she would have killed. But I don't. I didn't really see a reason to give her bold fighter because she doesn't. She's not supposed to enter combat like that. Uh, she's really supposed to just have weary fighter, so it's harder to double her. But uh, it was something I did consider though. All right. So this is the other match. So as you can see, we did a little maneuvering. Um, we put a panic man in here to prevent any silly buff units coming in and then we slotted the ether fountain here under the healing tower so it's not that easy to get to it it's actually still really easy you, know, you can just come up here and break it and then slide in so uh our pony here instead of bringing noe brought a surter he brought a surter in 2020 people are trying to tank with surter in noe's it's 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 a joke like it's a joke you really thought you could end turn tank my team <laughs> it, it's really like do they not notice the flora who's ho who's red who is holding a anti-armor weapon with a glacis coming it's like do you not notice any of this because you're not tanking with Surter. i guarantee you that and then you're, you're, if your aries which this aries is a cc vantage aries uh, plans to try to tank too, that's not going to work either because there is two units on my team with hardy bearing abilities. Well, technically, it's it's supposed to be four, 
because the staff users are supposed to have um, dazzling staff. Or at least one of them. Like, you know, Erica might not have it because she has Weary Fighter. Or she might have Bow Fighter. But uh, Sakura is definitely supposed to have uh, Dazzling Staff along with Raffle Staff. So that, you know, there's like three Hardy Burying type abilities like sitting on my team. And actually, Erica could go for it. Um... If she had a uh, Raffle Staff, because she's almost at Miracle range. If she hits Miracle range, she's not afraid of you. So here comes Surger. He's gonna move up and try to tank me. So look at that. Oh, look at those that ball stats 52 defense, 62 attack, and 42 res. And you have Wary Fighter, and you have Steady Stands for. And you have, uh, what was this, uh, close defense 3? Oh, what is my Flora with 30, uh, with, uh, 50 attack going to do? She's gonna murder him. That's what she's gonna do. But I also want to point out that he did eat a panic. To be fair. <laughs> but still... It's like a one shot, it he would got well, there wasn't really no two shot because of Wary Fighter, but someone else would have attacked and <laughs> she would have still died. Like, Surda would have died. There was like no way Surda was surviving that. So, we already killed two, and opponent yet again decides to stay. Um, his Ares picks on Kagero because you know, Kagero is not ranged, uh, is ranged and not melee, and couldn't retaliate. And then he just YOLOs my trap. He, like, he literally YOLOs both of my traps in this matchup. And he's going to die. <laughs> That's all I got to say. He's just going to die. Uh, but we're not going to go after him. Air goes at, we have to go after Air instead. Um, Sucker could have actually maybe killed uh, Ares. Uh, she was missing a few stats to double him. Uh, like, maybe some flowers and, uh, switching her seal. Her seal, I believe, right now is, yes, yeah, chill speed. If her seal was instead, uh, the attack speed bond, she would have doubled him and he would have died. Um, but it's nothing super major. And there you go. They clearly couldn't beat it. So... Uh, this team didn't get enough results for me to determine anything yet. Uh, I'm waiting to hopefully get more results. And probably I'll use it next season too, so I can gather more results to show. I feel like the team is very strong. and uh, It's something that people are not always prepared to fight. Um, but yeah, let me know your opinions on it. Like, do you see any obvious changes I should be making to this team? Alright guys, uh, talk to you later.